If you were to be bitten by a venomous snake, which one would be worse, the baby or the adult? <laughs> There's a big difference. I'm sure this little fella's thinking, wow, am I really gonna be that big someday? And don't eat me, but you're crawling on my tail. I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> It's amazing how much smaller this baby copperhead is compared to its mom. I hear all the time about how much more dangerous the babies are than the adults. They say it's because the baby snakes haven't quite learned yet how to control their venom and just give it all to you when they bite. But is that really true? The first thing you need to know is that a young snake will often eat different prey than an adult snake. So the venom can actually be a little different in a baby snake compared to an adult of the same species. For instance, young copperheads and rattlesnakes often eat frogs and lizards. If you've ever tried to catch a small lizard, you know just how fast they can be. So, copperheads, cottonmouths, and some rattlesnakes like the pygmy rattlesnake may have a bright yellow or greenish colored tail when they're very young. These young snakes choose a good hiding spot and then display their tail and begin to wiggle it in their best attempt to attract a frog or lizard, which may think it's about to get to eat a little wiggly worm. The venom of these baby snakes may contain neurotoxins or other components that help to quickly subdue this fast-moving prey before it has a chance to run off too far to where the snake might not even be able to find it. And you know, as far as copperheads eating other snakes, well, we normally think about king snakes eating copperheads, which they do, but copperheads have been known to eat other snakes. It's not extremely common, but they will do it. As these snakes grow, often what they eat changes. Instead of small lizards, they may now find opportunities to take down rodents and other mammals. As the properties of their venom begin to slightly change, so does the amount of venom they're able to inject. But how does all this affect us? Well, when it comes to defense, a snake that's stepped on uh, may cause it to inject more venom than one that's just simply trying to get you to leave it alone. It's estimated that some adult venomous snakes may inject up to 50 times more venom than a baby can. Even though some baby venomous snakes may have slightly more potent venom, the greater amount that can be injected from an adult venomous snake has a much more detrimental effect on you if it were to bite you. So what does this mean? It means that the bigger the snake, the bigger the fangs. The bigger the fangs, the bigger the venom glands. The bigger the venom glands, the bigger the venom yield. The bigger the venom yield, the bigger the hospital bill. So no, baby snakes are not more dangerous than the adults. The adults are definitely more dangerous than the babies. Now don't go test anything I just said. Remember, when you're outside, you're where snakes live. When you're where snakes live, use common sense. If you don't have any, find a friend who does. Hang out with them. Watch where you step. Watch where you put your hands and feet. And when you find a snake, don't try to kill it. Don't try to catch it. Leave it alone. It'll gladly do the same thing for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't stop watching now. As a matter of fact, the YouTube algorithm has specifically chosen this video for you to watch next. Click on it and you can see it now. If you're new here, click right here and you can subscribe to the channel and not miss what I've got coming out next. Once you've done that, go check out the Snakes Are Us TV podcast.